It is a somber day in Oklahoma hearts as we remember the 168 people killed in the deadliest domestic terror attack in U.S. history. 23 years ago, Timothy McVeigh blew up the Alfred P. Mura Federal Building in Oklahoma City, murdering men, women, and children. Today, our state pays tribute to those killed and to the first responders who rushed into the rubble. May God's grace be with them. 23 years ago today, then-President Bill Clinton addressed the nation as chaos erupted around the city and around the country. I remember being shocked at first just seeing it on TV. Captain Dan Heinrich with the Tulsa Fire Department was part of a rescue station. What we do out here, we train for the worst and hope it never happens. But when the unthinkable happened, that training kicked in. He wasn't drafted down to Oklahoma City right away, but his crew was ready. When we heard about it, it's like uh, we were we were already packing our bags, and it's like we were ready to to go right then. Uh, and I guess a, a lot of other people were too. He deployed a few days later. We got to go work. Uh, right in the middle of where the bomb went off. He and first responders like Captain John Stapleton were overwhelmed by the magnitude of the destruction. The entire center of this large building was, it was like scooped out. We were literally crawling between slabs looking for voids where we might be able to find victims. Our big hope, our big thought is we're gonna find somebody. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The images. It's still pretty fresh in my mind 23 years later. Engraved in their minds. Pieces hanging, glass, concrete. Probably the biggest thing I remember is the smell. We've had a lot of bad smells on the fire department. If you've been here long enough, but it's, I can still, I mean, it's just clear as day what it smelled like, what it looked like, what it felt like being there. Austin Allen was just four years old when his father died in the explosion. On that day, it was just, I just remember being rushed out of school and rushed, rushed home and everybody being around and not understanding at four years old what was going on. His father and the 167 others killed were honored at the remembrance ceremony. Each name was read aloud. Jamie Lee Falkowski Ginzer. I don't want my father, Ted Allen, forgotten. Mm -hmm. I don't want his friend, David Walker, forgotten. I would just tell him that I love him. Um, I hope he's proud of me um, and, and, and he's somebody that I look up to. Going in depth on the timeline from that day, witnesses saw Timothy McVeigh in the truck at 8.30 in the morning. At 9.02, the bomb went off in the nine-story building, and McVeigh escaped to the highway in a separate car. At 10, he was pulled over for driving without a license plate and was arrested after an officer saw a gun. Two days later, he was arrested by federal agents. Eventually, he was found guilty on 11 counts and put to death in June of 2001.